What's up you guys, John's Moto Garage, welcome back. We're gonna go check out a Yamaha Warrior. Pretty excited about this. I'd say it's a 50-50 shot if I actually bring the bike home, but the dude lives close enough where I think it's worth uh, seeing in person. And this is the second bike I looked at today. The other video should be posted, but I went and looked at a V-Strom 650. Sadly, I didn't end up bringing that one home either. So hopefully this one pans out. That's the idea. I brought cash, I'm ready to roll, you know what I mean? So stay tuned, let's see what happens. All right, you guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome to the channel. As always, here we are on a uh, Yamaha Warrior. This is a 2002 Yamaha Warrior. It's got about 11,000 miles. It, it's still, it's amazing. You can find some bikes that have very low miles despite the age. Uh, this bike is, it's insane, to be honest. I'm on my test right now, just kind of going through the gears. I usually try not to buy bikes that are older than, you know, eight, nine, 10 years old, but um, this one looked to be in really good condition, so, and I've been looking for the Warrior for a while now. I've had these in the past, so let me do this test ride, we'll talk a little bit about it. These are a 5-speed belt drive, they're air-cooled. It's a, a 1700 cc, 102 cubic inch, or no, 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 it's about a 16. 90? I don't know. I always thought it was a 1700, but um, inverted front fork. So here's the thing. You've got your muscle cruiser bikes. That's going to be your Honda VTX 1800, your Suzuki Boulevard M109R, your um, what's the other one? Harley V-Rod, you know, VTX 1800. I mentioned that. Your Yamaha Raider. And then you've got the Yamaha Warrior 1700. Um, all of these came out within a couple years of each other. Now this bike is not necessarily, of all of them, the gnarliest. It's not performance-wise the absolute best. I'm really struggling to get this kickstand down. There we go. Um, let's take a quick look at it here. I'm not a fan of the pinstriping or the saddlebags personally, but they're functional. So not necessarily the gnarliest of the bunch. Um, it's air-cooled, not liquid-cooled, so they're, you know, performance wise it's not slightly going to edge out some of these other ones and keep in mind we're talking v-twins and so i'm not talking yamaha v-max or the four-cylinder honda magna but where this thing just takes the cake and just steals the show in my opinion first handling inverted front forks um it handles phenomenally i mean the, it handles way better than those other bikes the m109r man that thing scares me the vtx 1800 same it's like too much power this thing has got like the right mixture of everything um the handling it's pretty dang comfortable even with forward controls and then the style on these stock exhaust on these is absolutely hideous this has a nice upgraded aftermarket vans and hines and then i'll also add i'm not a big fan of the stock bars uh, a lot of people do upgraded drag bars i think they should have come stock like that but look at this this is a 2002 and just look at how beautiful the engine is just everything about it the fact that it came out in 2002 it, it, it boggles my mind it really does let me take a couple quick pics of the bike so the question here is going to be price if we're close and he's got it priced right and so far it's running good it's got updated upgraded tires this is not a bike that i'm buying at all to necessarily make money on it's pretty much only to have on the channel for you guys and for myself obviously i mean it isn't it all really for me but um just to bring some cool videos because like i said i've been looking at these for a while and for the longest time i thought that these were carbureted um and so i avoided them just because nowadays it's harder to sell bikes that are carbureted most people are looking for most people are looking for something that's fuel injected nowadays Anyway, come to find out, these have been fuel injected since they came out, since 2002, so... Jeez, this thing is just awesome. I mean, I can tell it's, it's not as gnarly, like I said, as the M109R or the VTX 1800. It's just not. Um, but... Again, where, where this makes up for it is the handling and the styling. In my opinion. And I think you got dual disc brakes in the front. Yeah, dual discs in the front. Um, yeah, really cool bike, man. Fun one, too. So, 
is cosmetically you got a little dimple here you know you've got these pin stripes not super stoked on that like i said but if if we can come to an agreement on price which i think will be close then there's a i think high likelihood i bring this bike home sounds good i like the sound i like the exhaust it's just your classic muscle cruiser and the sad thing is we don't have a lot of these nowadays there are not a lot of these out there anymore you've got harley davidson they're discontinuing their breakout i think suzuki still makes the boulevard which it's a crazy bike but i'm just not a huge fan of it overall like i said it's almost too much harley hasn't been making the v-rod for quite some time so it's kind of a dying breed in a sense back in the early 2000s it was like the muscle bike shootout you know and and i think part of the reason is there's not a, a high demand for it it's a cool second or third motorcycle or one if you're just ripping around the neighborhood but as soon as you want to jump on the freeway and take longer rides this is no longer practical for that application and i think that's part of the uh, issue why they're really cool on paper and they are a lot of fun but yeah they don't always work out um anyway I'm gonna call it a day. Stay tuned, I'll let you know if I buy the bike, obviously. We'll find out. Uh, we're gonna have to go negotiate top price and see what happens. But so far I'm liking it. It's a lot of a lot of fun. All right, so I'm obviously back at the house and I did not bring the motorcycle home, but I'm thinking about it. I told the dude I'd think about it and he didn't have the title notarized anyway, so I'm gonna have to go back if I decide to buy it to pick it up. Here's what I was kind of debating for one. The dude didn't want to come down as much on the price as I was hoping. For two, it's a 2002. That bike is 18 years old. But you look at the condition, he just had it gone through. He replaced all the hoses. So I'm not really as concerned about that. And on the test ride, the thing ran cherry. So the age more than anything is just an issue when it comes time to sell it. But if you can market it right and have it priced right, then you're good. So those are kind of the hangups. Stay tuned. I'm gonna think about it tonight and we'll see whether or not I decide to buy it tomorrow. I told him that I would let him know. John's Moto Garage, like and subscribe if you dig the content. Let me know below, would you like to see the Yamaha Warrior? It wouldn't be one to keep forever, obviously. It would just be to try out. It'd be cool to have Jackie try it out. The bike's a beast. I rant and rave about it and it'd be good to have one on the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.